Hey, my name is Rahel and I'm joined here by Sherry. Sherry, would you please tell us more about studying teaching here at Avondale and about your role here as well? Sure. Hi everyone. Um, I teach into the education courses. We offer courses in early childhood, primary and secondary. Um, there is undergraduate courses and then we also have postgraduate courses for those who already have a degree. So what's the difference between undergraduate and postgraduate? So undergraduate, you don't have a degree yet, and those education courses are four years in length, full time. And if you already have a degree, then you can do a Master of Teaching, and that is two years full time. That's perfect. Now for someone watching this video, what kind of person do you think would really enjoy studying teaching? Well, if I really consider it, the person type of person is somebody who wants to help. You like helping people, you like interacting and engaging with people, explaining things, um, demonstrating, getting involved. So somebody who wants to be there helping other people. Also somebody who likes to learn. You forever, you're going to be a lifelong learner mm. if you become a teacher. Mm. So there's a wide range of skills that can be applied to teaching them. So why, why study teaching specifically here at Avondale? I'm glad you asked that question. Um, as a lecturer, I get to know all my students by name. Um, and I think that's such an important skill, even as a teacher. You need to know your students by name and you need to model and engage with them. And we have that opportunity at Avondale to do that. And so we really get to know our students. We also focus a lot on well-being. Um, it's one of the things that we do at Avondale. Um, we really are concerned about people. And as a teacher, you need to look after yourself so that you can be the best resource in your classroom one day. So also we look at things from a Christian perspective. I think that's so important. And just being that smaller community where we really can engage together and get to know our students. Mm, so it's a very engaging experience. Um, and following on from that, are there any practical opportunities students can look forward to? Oh yes, we have so much fun in the practical space. You know, we really get hands on into things. I know within my lectures, I like to get our, the students to look at what's happening across the curriculum and how do I enact that in my classroom? What type of activities can I do? So within our classes here on campus, we've got our students interacting together, you're moving around in the classroom. I do mat work because I teach into the primary space. You're spending time on the floor together, looking at different resources, trialing them um, and experimenting with them but we also head up to our local school which is our hub school where we go and sit in de demonstration lessons so our students join um, teachers that are teaching in classrooms we go and spend time in a year one classroom or a year six or a year eight class to really see what's happening there our students also do placements out in the field so all around Australia New Zealand and actually around the world um, we do um, rural placements, we encourage our students to go into different schools and experience what, ha what is happening there. Mm, so a lot of opportunities that people can plug into. Mm. Um, what are some of the career options that people can look forward to um, when they graduate? Well obviously they, they're studying to become teachers, so you're going to become a teacher and you can go and teach in the area that you've studied into, so early childhood, primary or secondary, but within those fields Understand that you're not always just going to be in the classroom. You might be in a role of administration or you might be mentoring. Um, there's so many opportunities and scope within schools that um, you can engage in. The other thing is you can be a tutor. So you might not even be working in a school, you might be tutoring outside school hours or you might be involved in other areas where a teaching and the skills that you come with can actually add value to. Remembering that you're also learning skills and so you can be engaged in careers where communication is needed or organisational skills. So you're not just limited, um, there is a wide range and a wide scope. Mm. Sounds like there's a lot to this course. Um, how long can someone expect um, their degree to go for? Well, if you come in to study the undergraduate degree, uh, that means you haven't got a degree yet, this is the first degree you're doing, it will be four years full time. But if you already have a degree and you're coming in to study the Master of Teaching, it's a two year full time degree. Mm. Now, you, you know, you made this course sound so good, you know, even I want to study teaching. Oh, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> but for someone who's watching this video, how can they um, enroll into this course? Well, contact our admissions staff. Um, at Avondale, we'll gladly welcome you and include you in. So contact the staff and they'll work you through that process. You do need to have an ATAR of 63 or above, but if you don't have that ATAR or it's been a while since you studied, um, still contact our admissions staff and there are other pathways of getting in. So find out and the staff will talk you through that mm. process. Perfect, thank you so much for chatting to us, Sherry. If you wanna learn more about studying teaching here at Avondale, please get in contact with us, we'd love to chat with you. And I hope to see you studying here at Avondale soon. Bye.